Hey, hey folks, Repo Rich here. Hey, uh, I know you're sitting there staring at a steering wheel club. Well, uh, first of all, let me say Happy Labor's Day to everybody. Um, and uh, thanks to all the new subscribers, all the old subscribers, thanks for following. Uh, I got a video coming up here real soon. Um, actually, a bunch of them. So, nonetheless, I'm bringing you uh, today uh, a demonstration on a club buster. Uh, this is steering wheel club. Uh, they're also brake clubs, uh, but first we'll go with the brake club. Uh, now, basically, uh, you put that on your brake, the other end on your steering wheel, and it keeps you, if someone were to steal your car, if you can make a key, start it up. You can't push the brake to get it out of park to put it in drive or neutral or anything else, uh, being an automatic. So, uh, you know, of course they have these. A lot of people can pick them. A lot of people just carry battery-operated grinders and just grind it off. Um, and then, of course, there are steering uh, club busters. So uh, I'll go ahead and demonstrate this here first. Now, I, I have this on a brake club that uh, I do not have a key for. Um, I mean, it's totally open, which as you can see. But what I wanted to show you first is when you have one that's locked, a lot of people drive with their steering column if it's a tilt wheel in the up position or at least a higher up position first thing you want to do if you're in the field I've had occasion in a backyard with a vehicle and I have a key for it but the maneuvering to, to get a car out the vehicle won't start uh, and you got to be quick so if there's a steering club on there or, or a brake club if there is a tilt wheel a lot of times uh, I'm just going to hold this straight here since it won't lock but a lot of times you could just go ahead and lower it and if you lower it all the way down, those people aren't really thinking very well. But you can lower it down and almost take it off. And then there you go. So you got that out of the way just right there. Which I'll show you that. That one actually is locked on, so I might have to get it off. But basically how this club buster works is uh, you adjust it to, uh, to what you need to adjust it to. Put one in around here. And the other in, one stays on your... Uh, on your bar that extends and the other end goes on the bottom part of the thing and basically you just tighten it up to where you're going to feel tension on it and then it'll start getting really tight uh, at that point I carry around uh, just a big old socket at least an inch uh, in size and it gives you some leverage but you can use uh, box in wrenches or whatnot and basically you just keep twisting it just like so uh, you guys know all the different clubs nonetheless um, when you're out in the field occasionally uh, I have had a vehicle in a backyard and it's uh, so tight maneuvering either around the house or through a gate uh, to try to tow it with a vehicle and even though you have a key if it does not run and people have a club on there a lot of times what you can do is if it's a tilt wheel uh, you can adjust it various ways and also the seat a lot of the electric seats or mechanical you can scoot them all the way back and adjust this and then get your clearance go ahead and start it up and rotate this thing all the way around because the seats actually moved uh, and you move the position of the club this vehicle's not like that uh, obviously but um, just so you know that the same thing with the brake clubs uh, if they've got a brake club on here so you can't, uh, you know, start it up put it, and put it in neutral or drive uh, because they got the brake club here to the steering wheel. A lot of people drive with their steering wheel in the up position. Go, if it's got tilt, go ahead and maneuver it down and a lot of times that brake club will just lift right off. So, uh, but let's get back to the, uh, to the club buster here. I have two of these and the reason I'm, I'm showing you guys this one is a lot of people out there don't know they exist. A lot of repo guys. Uh, impound guys, you know, your tow guys, if they need uh, access, they claim a vehicle uh, abandoned or whatever, and now they own it, they need to get that off. Uh, repo guys, they get it in their yard, the people never come for the property. Auction comes or what have you, they need to get it off. Um, aside from picking it, uh, which a lot of you guys out there are master lock pickers, that's awesome. I wish I knew all that stuff. And uh, some people carry battery operated uh, grinders, uh, that's an option as well. But then there's also the, the Club Buster, which they make weigh about, oh, close to 10 pounds. And um, basically you just fit it to, uh, to your uh, club that you're dealing with. And it's pretty heavy duty. Um, <clears throat> just want to adjust this so that it's taut. 
and uh, you know since this is so small you can carry around a box and wrench at least one inch size or a uh, just a long deep socket get some leverage on it and basically you just tighten this and keep tightening it until you snap that thing off just like so and then once that goes basically you have two pieces here just takes it right off and you're in business so these things run about a hundred bucks I guess something like that to buy it brand new and uh, the second one that I have here I'll you, any of you uh, agents out there whether it be tow impound repo if you're interested in it uh, go ahead and shoot me an email uh, through the tube and um, shipping I imagine maybe uh, priority mail I don't know 10 15 bucks something like that uh, set up through a PayPal deal I'll go ahead and uh, and respond to whoever is interested in it as long as you're within the the industry somehow uh, first grabs cool so okay with that out of the way um, also uh, I wanted to mention a buddy of mine turned me on to this uh, marketing network marketing if you love sports and you love money any of you guys out there network marketers people that just love sports you need to check this out it's uh, I'll flash it up here on the screen it's 24 7 uh, sports club and uh, pretty much you're like a sports agent you get your page you pick whatever you want to see in sports all across the whole board um, and also make money at the same time so uh, uh, he's doing pretty good in it and uh, I you know he just told me about it and I hopped on board and uh, any of you guys that are interested just check out the, uh, the clip uh, go to it check it out if you want to jump in there and uh, see what it can do for you just shoot me an email uh, once you've joined that thing and I'll be more than happy to uh, direct some people your way um, you know and get your uh, get your organization built so with that um, uh, big shout out to Ray recovery agent gear uh, doing well haven't uh, haven't gave him a shout out for a little bit here so that's about it for today uh, stay tuned got another couple videos I'm putting together trying to uh, trying to get things organized get things going and um, you know I, I still hear a lot of stuff about uh, you know that other repo show that's on TV don't worry I'm not a sellout I, I'm I'm uh, I'm holding my own so uh, but the reason why nothing happens in real life is because that's all fake. Just for you uh, people out there that believe that's the real deal. Cool? Alright, hang in there. Stick with me. You guys are awesome. The tube rocks. Making huge changes. Uh, and they're surprising to me as well. Uh, I like them. I like the way everything's going. So, um, I'm out for now. Let me jump up here so you can see me. All right, later.